Okay, let's take a quick look at problem numbers four through six. This time we're given a 1.0 times 10 to negative four molar calcium hydroxide solution, a strong base, has been prepared for a laboratory experiment. We are asked to determine the hydronium ion concentration, the hydroxide ion concentration, and finally determine is the solution acidic or basic. Again, the very first thing that I'm gonna do is write out an equation that describes putting calcium hydroxide in water. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna choose to calculate the hydroxide ion concentration first. So as I set up my dimensional analysis, I'm gonna take 1.0 times 10 to the negative four molar, and I'm gonna multiply that by a conversion factor that relates the concentration of calcium hydroxide to the concentration of hydroxide ions. Now, I'm able to do this because the volume essentially is not changing here. And so essentially I can say that if I had a one molar concentration of calcium hydroxide, I would have a two molar concentration of hydroxide ions. Because for every one mole of calcium hydroxide, I will make two moles of hydroxide ions. In other words, the concentration of the hydroxide ion is gonna be double the concentration of the original calcium hydroxide. So this problem is essentially asking you just to think about the relationship that exists between the original base formula unit and hydroxide. In this case, it's one to two. Now, as I work to solve for the hydronium ion concentration, I'm gonna come back to the relationship that exists between the hydronium ion concentration and hydroxide ion concentrations as related by the KW equation, which is equal to the hydronium ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration. Again, at 25 degrees Celsius, KW is a constant, which is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. The hydronium ion concentration is what we're trying to solve for here. The hydroxide ion concentration we determined to be 2.0 times 10 to the negative four. Again, some quick algebra here. Divide each side by 2.0 times 10 to the negative four, which means that my hydronium ion concentration is going to equal is going to equal 5.0 times, times 10 to the negative 11. Now, a quick note, as you should try and do this in your head, when you divide one by two, you get 0.5 times 10, and then you subtract your exponents. So negative 14 minus a negative four is gonna give me negative 10. And then simply remember that in order to have correct scientific notation, you have to move your decimal point. So we end up with five times 10 to the negative 11. It's a good idea to practice this sort of thing in your head so that when you are doing this on an AP chemistry test and you can't have a calculator, you're already ready to rock. Okay, and the last question becomes, is the solution acidic or basic? Again, as I compare my two concentrations, 2.0 times 10 to the negative four, which is my hydroxide ion concentration, is greater than 5.0 times 10 to the negative 11, which is my hydronium ion concentration. And when hydroxide ion concentrations are greater than hydronium ion concentration, this is basic. Boom.